to information once again on the suspect in the New Scotland murder case. Jacob Klein has been indicted in the killing of his ex-girlfriend's husband, Philip Rabadi. The murder happened at the couple's home earlier this month. Police are building a case showing how Klein allegedly traveled to Albany from his home in Virginia and carried out the crime. Stella Porter continues to follow the story. Stella, what did you learn today? Mark and Sabrina, I spoke to the Albany County Sheriff's Office today. Sheriff Craig Apple is shedding more light on how investigators are piecing together what Klein did in the 48 hours after they say he committed the crime and before he was arrested for the murder. Investigators believe Jacob Klein left the Albany area sometime after the murder took place Wednesday, April 13th, and drove home to Wurtz, Virginia. Through their investigation, they believe Klein then left home to take care of some personal affairs in Tennessee, but they could not share exactly what he was doing there. Court documents reveal that by Friday, April 15th, authorities believed he may be fleeing the country as he made it to Tennessee. One document says he'd been traveling south since Thursday, April 14th, and that authorities wanted an arrest warrant before, quote, the defendant possibly leaving the United States of America. But then police say he turned back right and drove back in the direction of his home in Wurtz, Virginia. Sometime Friday, investigators say he was either monitoring local Albany media or received a tip about a report from another outlet that said someone by his description was being sought for questioning in Philip Rabati's murder. They say he then retained a lawyer following that report before his arrest. Friday evening, he was arrested in Abingdon, Virginia, after he crossed into the state from Tennessee. I also reached out to the FBI to try to better understand the role that agency played in tracking Klein's movements prior to his arrest, but I have not yet heard back. In the studio, Stella Porter, News Channel 13, coverage you can trust. Back to you.